So now that you have your square, you want to check whether or not it's actually square. And the way to do this is take a board that you know is straight on one edge. I can tell it's straight because I put a straight edge up against it and it meets up on the whole way. If it's not straight, you can take a clamp and just clamp on a straight edge to your board and then use that straight edge as the reference point. So you take your square, put it up against your edge, and draw a line all the way. Then you take the square, flip it over, and draw a line the other way. Start it at the same point, and it should end at the same point if it's square. You can tell that these lines do not match up. They diverge from each other. So we need to make it square. And the way we do that is the second line is going too much to that direction. So what I need to do is file down the reference point inside the square here to skew it more that way. And inside of the square there should be two support points where you can do that. You see that little bump right there? That is what I'm filing down. I need to file down the one that's closest to me a little bit. This can be done with a needle file that is coarse on the edge. Check your needle files because a lot of them are smooth on the thin edge and we need it to be coarse because that's what we're filing with. If you don't have that, use a piece of sandpaper, fold it up and just stick it in there and go back and forth, being careful only to hit that one and not the one on the other side. Once you've done this a little bit, reattach your ruler and check it for square again. So what happens when you tighten this nut here is it pulls the ruler up against those two reference points. And by filing down one of them, it changes the angle in relation to the body of the square. On the leftmost one, you can see that it's still not quite square. Those lines don't match up, so I got some more work to do. Reattach the square, and go again. This line, you can see, is getting closer than the previous one, but it's still not quite there. It's important not to go too much all at once. Just go a little bit, check it, and then go a little bit again, because if you go too far, then you're going to have to file down the other side, so you're not really saving any time. Just check frequently to see if it is square, and when it's square, stop, because you're good. You can even count how many strokes you do so that if you want it to move the same amount as earlier again, do the same number of strokes and it should grind it down about that much. So you can see this is the most recent one right here. And it's a little bit closer to parallel than the previous one. So we're just getting it tuned in a little bit at a time. Don't do too much, because then you'll just have to undo it. And there we go. It's a single line, which means the square is now square, and I can use it with confidence. So don't throw away those old squares, if they're nice like this one. Mm -hmm.